campus, the Recitation Hall. This is one of three buildings at Westchester built from serpentine stone. Uh, Old Library is another, and Ruby Jones, which is the third. Serpentine gets its name from its resemblance to snakeskin. see serpentine has a very distinctive green color. It gets this color from the chromium salts within its structure. Building with serpentine was very popular in the late 1800s uh, due to the fact that serpentine was easily found in the Chester County area. Uh, a lot of serpentine rock um, was located very shallow beneath the earth's surface and in many places there are even outcroppings uh, above the surface. Serpentine stone is also very easy to mine due to the fact that it is very soft. However, uh, this fact also makes it not the best building material. Uh, the three serpentine buildings here at Westchester have had to be, had to be restored multiple times over the past hundred years. Uh, serpentine is a grouping of minerals uh, which make up this stone that you're looking at behind me. Serpentine is a metamorphic rock composed of several related minerals. Uh, the two most common minerals are antigorite and chrysotile. Serpentine is very low in plant nutrients and is very high in toxic metals. Uh, it actually contains asbestos, so many people are afraid to go near it nowadays. Because it is low in nutrients and high in toxic metals, uh, areas where serpentine is located in the bedrock often have very stunted uh, vegetation. Serpentine is very commonly found beneath oceanic crusts, but it's very rare to have it um, on land. Southeastern Pennsylvania is one of the few places in North America where serpentine rock can be found quite commonly. Uh, the high levels of chromium, nickel, and other metals have proven to be toxic to many plants and animals. However, these unique characteristics have given way to many rare and unique species of plants and animals that thrive in these conditions. Mm -hmm.